the greater good. Hey everybody, Greater Good Mining here. I'm gonna teach you guys how to build this power supply today. You can run three KS0 Ultras, three AL0s, three KS0 Pros off of this. If you're running them stock, these can take three separate barrel connectors that have a positive and negative wire here. The limit on this power supply is 480 watts. So 480 watts gives you quite a bit of wiggle room. You could even run two overclocked KS0 Ultras. I overclocked mine to the max and it takes 200 watts. So there's still wiggle room for two overclocked KS0 Ultras on this thing. So also, maybe eventually we'll get AL0 overclocked. So what I've got here, I'll leave links to these, um, you know, their Amazon affiliate links, they'll be in the description. You'll need barrel plug connectors. You're gonna need an extension cord. This is a high quality extension cord. It's trip light, it's like 15 amps. So, it, you know, you know you've know, you got plenty of wiggle room there. And then this is the power supply itself. It's very inexpensive. And you can run, like I said, three of these devices off this one thing. So I'll show you how to build it. Let's go. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is snip off the end of this extension cord. Now, before I say do anything else, it's none of this is electrical vice. This is just what I'm doing. If you guys do this, it's at your own risk. Anything beyond plugging in a stock K0 Ultra or a stock AL0 is at your own risk, obviously. So I just snipped the end off of the extension cord. We're going to get these wires exposed enough where I can wire them up to the device itself. Okay, now that you remove some of that sheath there, you're going to strip just enough off where you can slide the wire onto the power supply. This is kind of like wiring up an amp. You know, I don't know if you've ever done any car audio stuff, but it's kind of like wiring up an amp. You just slide it in there, screw it down. So strip off enough of each of the wires so you can secure it with the screws that are provided with the power supply. Okay, we got the wire stripped off of each one, and we're gonna wire this up to ground, neutral, and line. So those three, ground, neutral, line. You'll see what I mean after I've got it all wired up. Okay, so now you see I've got the line, neutral, and ground connected, and then I took the barrel plugs. These are, like I said, Amazon links in the description. It's real simple, it's positive and, and negative. So here, I have it wired up right next to each other. Here's the positive, the red, negative, the black, and I'm just gonna wire up one barrel connector. So this is the proper size barrel connector for the AL0, KS0, KS0 Pro, KS0 Ultra. So let's go ahead and plug this in. There's also a voltage controller. We're gonna have to get this around like what a similar voltage would be for a stock laptop power supply from Ice River. Okay, we've got it all wired up. I'm gonna plug it into the meter box. We're gonna see what it looks like. Then we will plug it into the KS0 Ultra. I'm gonna be overclocking this one, so we'll see um, how well it does with this. So the other thing I wanted to point out about this is that you can run it on 110 or 220. So make sure you have the switch on the proper side. Mine's selected on 115 right now, that means 110, but you can switch it back over to 220. For now, I'm gonna run it on 110, but I like that about this power supply also. You have the option to run it on both. The other thing that I like about this power supply is this little knob right here, you can adjust the voltage. The power supply that I recommend is like a 230 watt power supply and it's 20 volts. So to like emulate that, I can kind of just put it to 20 volts. Stock Ice River power supplies, I think they come at around 19 volts. So if you wanted to stick with like the stock settings or whatever, you can dial this dial back up to 19. It's a little touchy, but you get the gist. So I'm gonna leave mine at around 20 volts and then we're gonna go ahead and plug in this KS0 Ultra. I have it mildly overclocked. Don't forget too, like this this wiring that I'm doing right now, you have to be careful. Um, there, It comes with um, like connectors, but I am just using straight up copper wire to the terminals, if you know what I mean. So just be careful. And um, also don't forget that this knob is touchy. So wherever you set it up, you have to make sure this thing's kind of gonna just like stay there. Nobody's gonna mess with it um, because you do have like exposed terminals here. If you wanna set it and forget it power supply, especially one that can be overclocked, I'll leave the other one that I use in the description of the video. Okay, I've got the KS0 Ultra hooked up to the power supply and I am currently pulling 166 watts, no problem. I am um, ramping up my overclock, so I am not done with this. I'll probably end up around 200 watts, I'm guessing, 
once I have the overclock dialed in. So this isn't a um, overclocking video. This was just to show you how to build this power supply. It's relatively cheap. You can power up to three ice river units if you keep them stock or very mildly overclocked. It's 480 watts. It has a built-in fan to cool it off. It has adjustable voltage. It can be run on 120 or 220. And I just think it's really great for the money. So I'm gonna run this for a while. Um, I've used these before, but I haven't really uh, done any videos on these. I've just talked about them. So I wanted to do a quick, like how to build it video. It's so easy. You guys can see how it is wired up. And I just wanted to make sure you guys know though, like I said, it, these terminals are live. So just be very careful. Make sure that there's nothing else ever gonna touch these. You don't wanna like have any um, anything like uh, connecting you know two terminals like on accident like just if you're gonna put it on a shelf leave it alone and there's nothing else that's gonna go on the shelf that could disrupt this area here you don't want this little very touchy knob getting bumped by something like this should be on like a mining shelf like in a very uh, secured area um, because if you adjust that that uh, voltage it will change the dynamics the barrel plugs get hot or hotter quicker on lower voltage setups so just be aware of all that uh, be very careful i would only recommend this if you have like maybe some experience like wiring up amplifiers or wiring things up and uh, you do this at your own risk don't forget so i've done these kind of things before like i've been doing this kind of stuff my whole life messing around with electronics and stuff so i'm not worried about it myself i'm worried about someone who's new to this kind of thing trying this out if you're new to it and you're unsure just buy the power supply that I have in the description that is like the laptop brick power supply if you want to overclock like your KS0 Ultra. If you just want stock ones, just get something that's like 19 volts or 20 volts um, that has a two and a half by 5.5 barrel connector. Sorry to interrupt your video, but a quick word from the sponsor of the video, Crypto Miner Bros. Crypto Miner Bros is a trusted website where I buy mining equipment from. They sell all kinds of different miners, including Alephium and Caspa miners. So if you're looking for a good deal on a miner like this, you can get $70 off with my discount code greater. And the prices that you see on the website are the prices shipped to your door. This includes import duties. So you won't be paying extra fees and import duties and shipping and all that. The price you see is the price you pay. So thank you for listening and back to the video. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys this. I thought it was pretty cool. And I wanted to say thank you to Zero for One. He is in my Discord and he is the one that um, like showed me this power supply in the first place. And I really think it's very cool. So thank you to Zero for One for showing me this power supply to start with. Like I said, if you guys want any of this stuff in the um, description, I will put the Amazon affiliate links, everything you would need to build this and the alternate power supply that I recommend. I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, Hit the like button, it helps more than you could even know. Consider subscribing to my channel. I've got tons of crypto content. I'm always covering new news, new miners, all kinds of fun stuff. Check it out. And then last but not least, don't forget to keep it decentralized for the greater good. The greater good.